On May 29, 1984, a future WWE star was born. Nia Jax, or her real name, Savalina Feline, was born in Australia, but grew up in Hawaii and later California. Nia Jax loved sports, but unfortunately, there were no girls teams where she lived. She instead played with boys and was a natural athlete. She would go on to play college basketball until graduating in 2005. Even though her cousin was The Rock, Nia Jax didn't gravitate towards wrestling right away. She instead pursued a career as a plus-size model, but got interested in wrestling when she saw The Rock in John Cena's match at WrestleMania 28. Jax ended up getting a tryout with WWE and was able to impress them. She signed with the company in early 2014 and spent about a year training. In September 2015, videos began playing on NXT that would introduce fans to Nia Jax. These continued to be shown until the irresistible force had her first match. Nia Jax's debut opponent was Evie, who you may know better as Dakota Kai. When the match officially started, it was underwhelming. I didn't expect her to do much, but I wish she would have hit a few more moves. The finisher she used was kind of weak too. Something just a bit more devastating would have been better in my opinion. These short, dominant matches would continue to be the norm for Nia Jax. She eventually made an ally in Eva Marie and also became number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. She got her title match at NXT TakeOver London, but was defeated by the champion, Bayley. This is also Nia Jax's first defeat in WWE. Nia Jax would disappear for about a month, but came back with a strong return. She assisted Eva Marie in an attack on Bayley and Carmella until Asuka broke it up. This led to a tag team match where Nia and Evie took on Bayley and Asuka. The irresistible force lost that match, but would cross paths again with the Empress of Tomorrow. A few months later, Nia Jax would win a number of contenders match for the NXT Women's Championship. Asuka had become champion, and the two faced off one-on-one -on -one at NXT TakeOver the end. Unfortunately for Nia, she couldn't dethrone the Empress, and once again left without the gold. Shortly after losing to Asuka, Nia Jax was drafted to Raw. Similar to how she would debut in NXT, the irresistible force would rack up wins over smaller names for her first few weeks on the main roster. Jax had her first rivalry on Raw when she got into an altercation with Alicia Fox. This set up a match the next week where Nia Jax speared Fox through the barricade. The two women had one more match at Clash of Champions where Nia reigned supreme. Jax's dominance landed her a spot on the Raw Women's Survivor Series team. While her team did win, Jax was eliminated when she was forced to submit by Becky Lynch. Towards the end of 2016, Nia Jax would get a new rivalry when she attacked and injured Sasha Banks. The boss would get even with Jax by distracting the irresistible force during a number one contenders match for the Raw Women's Championship. Both women want a piece of each other, and they finally got to go one-on-one -on -one at the Royal Rumble. Nia Jax not only defeated Banks at the pay-per-view, but she also defeated Sasha again the following night on Raw. In their third and final match, Nia and Sasha went toe-to-toe -to -toe at Fastlane. This time, Banks managed to roll up Jax and win the match. While the defeat didn't help her career, Nia Jax did receive a shot at the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania 33. She participated in a fatal four-way elimination match, but was the first woman eliminated. Over the next few months of 2017, Nia Jax would compete in number one contenders matches and even received actual championship matches, but always lost. Like the year before, Nia Jax was one of the members of the Raw Women's team at Survivor Series. Also like before, Nia Jax would be eliminated, however, her team did ultimately win. Jax's career started getting interesting again when she began a romantic storyline with Enzo Amore. We would see them flirting with one another backstage and making small talk. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, you know what Nia Jax should have given Enzo? A gift from this video sponsor, Exter. Exter is the world's largest smart wallet brand. There's so much I love about these wallets. First, they are easy to fit in your pocket, and second, they are sourced from LWG gold rated tenneries, making them look sharp and sleek. Also, watch what happens when I do this. Isn't that awesome? The best part though, is the tracker. You just attach it to your extra wallet, and using their app, you'll always be able to know where your wallet is. I do lose my wallet from time to time, but now when that happens, I just do this. And if you don't want to push any buttons, you can just use your voice. Hey Siri, ring my exter. Also, if you lose your phone, you can just do this. The tracker is solar powered. Just two months of sunlight is enough to power it for three months. As a wise man once said, Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. 
The good news is, extra helps protect you from identity theft and skimming. All their wallets come with RFID protection, which prevents thieves from stealing data stored in contactless cards. Data theft is scary, but what isn't scary is that Extra is running a Christmas gifting sale. They're offering up to 35% off site-wide with free gift bags. Check out their new releases as well, including the Space Grade Aluminum Card Holder, Carbon Fiber Card Holder, and more. If you do want an extra wallet, please use my link found in the description. It really helps me out a lot. Two other people who could have used help were Nia Jax and Enzo Amore, since the relationship was going to come to a sudden end. Only about a month after Nia and Enzo's storyline started, Amore would be released from WWE. Should have gotten him an extra wallet. Nia Jax then turned her attention to one of her old rivals, Asuka. She attacked the Empress of Tomorrow before a match, which set up a fight between them for next week. Asuka won that match due to the referee determining that Jax couldn't compete. Of course, neither wrestler was satisfied with that, so they faced off again at Elimination Chamber. Like Nia Jax's previous encounters with Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow had her hand raised at the end of the match. After that, Nia Jax would discover some shocking news. Alexa Bliss, someone Nia Jax would form a friendship with, had been manipulating the Irresistible Force. This was revealed when a camera caught Alexa Bliss telling Mickey James how she really felt about Nia. Of course, Jax became enraged, and she ended up getting a match against her former best friend at WrestleMania for Bliss's Raw Women's Championship. In her second appearance on the grandest stage of them all, Nia Jax defeated Alexa Bliss to win the Raw Women's title, making it the first time Jax had won a championship in WWE. Nia Jax would cement her championship victory by defeating Bliss again at the Backlash pay-per-view. After that, Nia was challenged by a newcomer to WWE, Ronda Rousey. Bliss and Rousey agreed to face each other for Nia's championship at Money in the Bank. Rousey successfully defeated the Irresistible Force only for the former champion, Alexa Bliss, to cash in her Money in the Bank contract and regain the Raw Women's title once again. Jackson vote her rematch clause for the next pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. Due to it being a no disqualification match, Mickie James was able to interfere and help Bliss defeat Nia and retain the gold. The Irresistible Force would be absent from WWE for a short while, following the defeat to tend to a small injury. She returned in September of 2018, winning a tag team match with Ember Moon. At the first all-women's WWE pay-per-view, Evolution, Nia Jax participated in a 20-woman battle royal. She won the match, and the victory earned her a shot at the Raw Women's Championship. Nia held onto the opportunity for a while, and in the meantime, she formed a tag team with Tamina called the Samoan Slaughterhouse. Additionally, Nia Jax participate on Team Raw at Survivor Series for a third year in a row. This time, not only did Jax's team win, but Nia Jax is also the sole survivor. With a ton of momentum on her side, Nia Jax used her title opportunity to set up a match at TLC. At the pay-per-view, Nia Jax took on the Raw Women's Champion, who is now Ronda Rousey. Even though she had the size advantage, Nia Jax fell victim to the armbar and had to tap out. While 2018 ended poorly, 2019 started off strong for the Irresistible Force. Nia Jax made history at the start of the year by being the first person to compete in both the men's and women's Royal Rumble matches on the same night. She didn't win either match, but she and Tamina would receive a shot to become the inaugural women's tag team champions. Even though they managed to eliminate two other teams, the Samoan Slaughterhouse failed to win the titles. Jax and Tamina received another shot at the tag team belts at Fastlane as well as WrestleMania 35, but were defeated at both events. The tag team split up after WrestleMania, and Nia Jax would disappear for the rest of the year to undergo surgery on her knees. Almost exactly one year later, Nia Jax made a return to WWE in April 2020. Soon after, Nia Jax won a qualifying match for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. She failed to win the contract, but made up for it by winning a number one contenders match for the Raw Women's Championship. She received her title match at the Backlash pay-per-view, where she faced off against her old rival, Asuka. This time, the match ended in a double countout, which allowed Asuka to retain. Nia Jax and the Empress of Tomorrow wrestled again the next night for the championship. During the rematch, Jax got upset at the referee. Asuka used this to her advantage and beat Nia once again. Since things weren't working out the Raw Championship, Nia Jax would change course. She'd be paired with Shayna Baszler, with the two taking on Sasha Banks and Bayley at Payback for the Women's Tag Team Championship. Despite not being ideal tag team partners, the two won the match, and Nia Jax once again had gold around her waist. Shortly after the victory, Nia Jax began a storyline where she'd repeatedly slam Lana through the announcer's table. Because of this, and also because Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler attacked Asuka, Jax and Baszler would face Lana and Asuka at TLC with the women's tag team titles on the line. 
Before the match took place, however, Nia and Shayna attacked and injured Lana. Asuka didn't back down and got Charlotte Flair to be her new partner. Just like every time she fought Asuka, Nia Jax couldn't conquer the Empress of Tomorrow and lost the match as well as her championship. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would get their rematch at the next pay-per-view Royal Rumble. Thanks to some help from Lacey Evans, someone Charlotte Flair was feuding with, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler were able to reclaim the tag team titles. Over the next few months, Nia and Shayna had several title offenses and took on a variety of teams. They had always managed to win, including defeating Natalya and Jax's former tag team partner Tamina at WrestleMania 37. Despite winning on the grandest stage of them all, Natalya and Tamina proved to be trouble. They defeated Jax and Baszler in a non-title match, which earned them a shot at the tag team championship, which they also won. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would get not one, but two rematches for the titles. Unlike last time, Nia and Shayna failed to regain the women's tag team championship. This caused Baszler and Jax's relationship to deteriorate, ultimately leading to them splitting and facing each other in a match. Their first encounter back in 2020 ended in a double countout, so it was time to see who was really the better woman. Unlike in her debut, Nia Jax entered first, followed by her former tag team partner. Once the match started, instead of using their fists, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler used their words. Nia even lifted Shayna off the ground just to prove how easily she could manhandle her. Baszler finally got the fight started, but Nia Jax quickly fought back and hit Shayna with a shoulder breaker. The irresistible force then slammed the Queen of Spades into the corner and started pounding away. Shayna Baszler responded with some kicks and got Nia on her knees. Shayna then locked her former partner in the Kirafuda clutch. Jax tried desperately to fight back, but couldn't. The irresistible force became unconscious and the referee called for the bell, declaring Shayna Baszler the winner. I guess the Queen of Spades was looking for more of a fight, as she started attacking Nia Jax afterward. Shayna Baszler took it a step further and pinned Nia Jax's left arm against the steel steps and stomped on it, doing some serious damage to Nia. Funny enough, there wasn't a whole